Good morning, traders. Well, Asian and Australian equities have opened flat to down following the, the lead from Wall Street last night where major US indices finished mix on a, on a flat and slow news day, uh, lighter than usual volumes and probably partly due to the holiday in the UK for the King's coronation. Uh, traders seem to be waiting for the um, inflation figures out later this week before they uh, take a bet either way. Now, the NASDAQ was lifted by, I think, some lingering good feeling over strong tech earnings. It was the outperformer. The Russell 2000 being the underperformer after um, some of those uh, regional banks who rallied recently, uh, they had their, their gains paired somewhat. Um, there was a, a report out last night from the uh, Senior Loan Officer Survey, or the SLUS report, which showed a tightening in in, uh, in lending, um, which saw the market react quite mixed to that because it, a tightening in lending kind of says that the Fed will need to do less as far as rates are concerned, but it also is a bit of a um, indicator of, of a possible future recession. So uh, we saw a bit of up and down on that. FX markets, the US dollar uh, was flat, like the equities uh, traded within a, a pretty tight range, found some support around that 101 level on the dollar index. Uh, before bouncing off. Now, that, that, that support level has held three times now in the last few weeks, so it's looking like uh, it could be the line in the sand for the dollar index. Um, Aussie Kiwi were the outperformers of the G10. Uh, Kiwi outperformed the Aussies a little bit, seeing the Aussie New Zealand back below 107. Uh, the Aussie dollar got up and tested that 68 level, which is where it's been held a couple of times in the last few weeks too, so another very important level to watch for Aussie dollar traders. Commodities, gold held that 2010 support level and rallied up to about 2030 before pulling back to 2020. Still looking good, but I think the inflation figures later this week will be a test to see whether that, that support level can hold. Oil has recouped some of its losses of the recent pretty heavy sell-off we've had. Um, probably a little bit overdone recession fears, uh, Chinese slowdown fears. Uh, I think traders are thinking it's gone a little bit too far. We've seen a, a bit of a rally the last few days in oil. Now, the big mover last night in a pretty flat market all around was Bitcoin on uh, some news that Binance had temporarily su suspended uh, withdrawals of Bitcoin. So that saw it really uh, take a dive there down to the lows that we saw uh, when that Mt. Gox rumor came out a few weeks ago um, under the 27,000, 27,500 level before finding a bit of support there. Uh, today news, very quiet again. The only real thing of significance is the Aussie budget release later today. If you're an Aussie or an ASX trader, keep an eye on that one.